How's it going everybody? Jesse Prince Jr. here. I would like to give a quick shout out to those who subscribe to the channel. You got me to over 3,400 subscribers. I love every single one of you. I am humbled to be the voice of your, I guess another reactor out there. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good feeling. I appreciate every single one of you being here. Those of you that are new, I go by the name of Cinematic Jesse due to my profession. I'm a cinematographer, videographer, photographer out of uh, Texas, and I've been doing it for the past couple of years now. So yeah, that's a little bit about me. Let me know in the comments section what you find or deem cinematic. It could be any type of genre. I listen to anything from like classical all the way up to rock, rap, all kinds of genres. So if you deem it cinematic or it's got that just that cinematic feel to it, holler at me, send it to me and uh, I'll check it out. But today we're going to be reacting to the long awaited Dear Rappers by Tom McDonald. You guys picked it. I'm going to shoot it or react to it. And yeah, so here we are. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Let's check it out. Man, it's easy for these rappers who have it all. Talk about the days when they used to be sad. I guess I can't relate to being famous and wealthy. I'm 28 and still praying for the day I have a chance. Maybe y'all can help me out though. I'm just trying to take care of my household. I don't even want to make my mouth go. I just want to win before the system that I'm in gets a hold of me again and starts to squeeze under my chin until I'm out cold. Dear rappers, can you help me? I'll even take a selfie with your album that I bought. I got every single CD that you ever fucking dropped. I spent everything I had and I never had a lot. Oh my God, what a mess. Your words help me deal with the stress. Used to contemplate my suicide the nights I was depressed Used to pop you in a boombox and sit up on my desk Listen to your music till I felt it in my chest But these days it's like you don't have nothing left Your music feels kinda like you're trying to write a check Everything is digital, I mean no disrespect But I'm paying even more and you give me even less What the fuck? You taught me to think, you taught me to grow You taught me to things to survive on my own But now you teach me to drink, you teach me to smoke You teach me to think, every woman's a hoe I don't want your Xanax bars Or your fancy foreign cars <laughs> Oh, um, okay. Tom is coming out swinging. Uh, just real quick, I I'm really enjoying how they shot this. It's a uh, you know they got one key light, little red light, and basically they have that whole background just in just complete darkness. But man, those lyrics, he's coming out swinging swinging at these i mean yeah these mainstream rappers and i'm <laughs> i'm not going to get into the politics of it i'm just here to enjoy the the cinematography and of course i'm loving the lyrics man uh i'm going to have to go back let me actually let me turn this down just a little bit Suicide the nights I was depressed Used to pop you in a boombox and sit up on my desk Listen to your music till I felt it in my chest But these days it's like you don't have nothing left Your music feels kind of like you're trying to write a check Everything is digital, I mean no disrespect But I'm paying even more and you give me even less What the fuck? You taught me to think, you taught me to grow You taught me to things to survive on my own But now you teach me to drink, you teach me to smoke You teach me to think, every woman's a hoe I don't want your Xanax bars Or your fancy foreign cars Throw your money in my face and try to tell me that it's art no 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 yeah just a drug addict TV. I can't hear another fucking song about abusing medication that I had to take just to stay alive. There's more important shit than what you wear and where you live and who you fucking, what you drink and what you spend and what you drive. Rappers full of bullshit. Rappers just a marketing vehicle for the product that the man wants you to buy. Rap about a full clip. Rappers just promoting different liquors and varieties of ways that you could die. Yeah. Dear rappers, can you help me? Are you almost out of alcohol to sell me? Tell me, cause drinking every night can be the way to getting wealthy. If I'm really being honest, all this shit is overwhelming. I need someone to look up to. You're living in a country that elected. I know I reacted to um, facts recently, those of you that are new here. And um, I had a lot of, uh, I had a little bit of hate thrown at me. And I don't really do, um, I don't really go into the politics of things. 
but I do speak up and what I believe in and I don't apologize for it. Even though I said that in the video, you know, it's, it's my channel. It's a reaction channel first and foremost. And if you're going to bring that negativity towards me or any of the people that I'm reacting to, just, just go somewhere else with it, you know, be respectful. Um, just go somewhere else with it. I don't know exactly who he's talking about. I did see, where was it at? He had the Eminem, he had the Eminem CD up and I'm not going to sit here and say anything about Eminem because I do still enjoy some of his music. I don't, I don't really get into the politics. I don't care what Eminem's like into or anything like that. Um, but I love Tom McDonald, man. Like I'm a new, I'm a newfound fan of his and a lot of you have recommended him to me. And a lot of the things that he's saying is just, I'm sorry, they're facts, you know, cause these generations nowadays are, you know, I'm not going to throw any names out there, but you see them with liquor bottles. You see them with girls all in the videos and it's not my cup of tea. I get what he's saying. You taught me to grow. You taught me the things to survive on my own. But now you teach me to drink. You teach me to smoke. You teach me to think. Every woman's a hoe. I don't want your Xanax bars or your fancy foreign cars. Throw your money in my face. And so real quick, before we jump back into it, I've had a couple of people reach out to me, outer Texas areas, and they wanted me to shoot music videos for them. And... Of course, it had to do with a little bit of drug use. It had alcohol and things like that. And hey, to each their own. I don't tell people how to live their life. It's just it's not something that I'm into. I would never shoot anything like that. I would never you know, I wouldn't want to be a part of that. So that's just a little bit about me. I'm not trying to be Mr. Goody Goody here. That's just that's that's me. That's who I am. Respect it. Try to tell me that it's art. No, 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 no. Yeah. I really like how they Drug shot this. I can't hear another fucking song about abusing medication that I had to take just to stay alive. There's more important shit than what you wear and where you live and who you fucking, what you drink and what you spend and what you drive. Rappers full Ooh. of bullshit. Rappers just a marketing vehicle for the product that the man wants you to buy. Rap about a full clip. Rappers just promoting different liquors and varieties of ways that you could die. Yeah. Dear rappers, can you help me? Are you almost out of alcohol to sell me? Tell me, cause drinking every night can be the way to getting wealthy. If I'm really being honest, all the shit is overwhelming. I need someone to look up to. You're living in a country that elected Donald Trump. You're living in a country where police are killing people every day, and all you want to talk about is doing drugs. You've been blinded by the money, you've been blinded by the cars, you've been blinded by the women. Don't know who the fuck you are. Thought I knew you when I spent a hundred dollars on a ticket to your show, and now I feel like you stole my fucking money and I'm broke. Man, he Ooh. taught us how to rap, and you taught us how to dress, and you taught us how to act if we wanted to impress. Now you're teaching me to live like I know you never would. What you're preaching to these kids is keeping them inside the hood. Man. Tom with the heat. Tom is coming with the heat, man. <laughs> I grew up on like Tupac. I grew up, of course, on Eminem. I grew up on a lot of the um, the rappers that are the legends, Biggie, you know, uh, DMX, all these, you know, all these artists that were, you know, some of them fell down that hole of you know, all the glam and riches and, you know, they talk about drugs and this and that. And just, I get it, man. I love how he's, um, he's expressing that. All your fancy foreign cars, throw your money in my face and try to it's real. me that it's art. No, 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 no. Just a drug addict. I don't want your Xanax bars or your fancy foreign cars. Throw your money in my face and try to tell me that it's art. No, 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 no. I love that beat. No, 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 no. Just a drug addict on TV. <sighs> Just a drug addict on TV. I'm so glad you guys recommended this. I loved it.
Okay, let me uh, let me go ahead and smash that like button. Oh. Uh, done. Loved it. Tom. <laughs> I can't wait to get to more of your stuff, man. I'm so far behind on Tom McDonald. Like I said, I didn't know who he was until um, I didn't know who he was until facts came out. But then I had some people message me and the it wasn't just facts. I had people message me in the comment section of I think it was Dax, one of my Dax reactions. And they told me that they, you know, they work together. And a lot of people, of course, they throw in the comment section that he's very controversial. Everybody's free to do what they want. Everybody's free to express how they want. And they like what they like. I like what I like. And Tom McDonald is, you know, I'm a newfound fan of his. And I'm glad that you guys recommended me to him. I really like how they shot this. I mean, it's very simplistic. It's, you know, it, a cinematographer, a really good cinematographer bends that light. And you guys are saying that uh, Nova, I think that's his girlfriend. You know, you guys are saying that he's he's been collaborating with her, you know, his uh, his family, you know, they, they're his team. So that's pretty awesome. I like that. I like that they're a tight, a tight unit. You know, when I when I watched facts, it wasn't it wasn't too crazy as far as like the videography goes. It just it's very simplistic, but uh, it was pretty awesome to see that, you know, um, his girlfriend and his team put that together. And then, of course, now this one, I've watched it and I really do enjoy the videography. They're a really good team. That was a really badass video. Thank you guys again. That's going to do it for the video. Um, I've got some more coming up. I've got some more Ren. I've got more Dax. I've got some NF. I've got Falling in Reverse coming up. So stay tuned. I am listening to the comments. Comment down below on this one if you've if you've never seen this one or you have watched this one. Give me some insight. You know, give me some uh, give me some storytelling behind the scenes type of stuff and and keep it respectful. Okay. <laughs> keep the peace. Keep the peace. God bless you all. Stay up, stay gold, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.